kind of ironic that our first video segment for American Music Road Trip would be a farewell look at an American landmark almost 30 years after its demise. Caribou Ranch is located about 50 miles northwest of Denver and on the fringes of the Continental Divide. Listed on some liner notes as Nederland, Colorado. In 1974, I was 16 years old. The band Chicago had finished their eighth album, their third to be recorded at Caribou. This was the Gatefold Center, and this image captivated me. Little did I know about 16 years later I'd be living in close proximity to this music mecca. And by the time I arrived here, mecca had burned down. And so did the magic. The rock and pop royalty that recorded here was extraordinary. Bands like America, Earth, Wind & Fire, Steely Dan, The Beach Boys, Carol King, Stevie Nicks, John Denver, Frank Zappa, Michael Murphy, Stevie Wonder, Stephen Stills, With Manassas, Dan Fogelberg, Billy Joel, even Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Rod Stewart recorded A Night on the Town. Rick Derringer's All-American Boy was recorded here. Super Tramps, even in the quietest moments. Joe Walsh, The Smoke You Drink, The Player You Get. Even Elton John titled one of his albums, Caribou, after spending so much time here in the 70s. Even the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, spent time recording and relaxing here. Over 187 artists worked and played here during its decade and a half of existence. Caribou Ranch's creator, producer Jim Gisero, was making music history high in the Rockies. Tragically, in 1985, a fire broke out at Caribou Ranch and ended recording forever. The furnishings and memorabilia from Caribou Ranch are up for sale by Leslie Henman Auctioneers this week in Denver, Colorado. They have a great website an online catalog with exquisite detail showing each piece available. Notably this Hammond B3 organ that was used by nearly every artist recording at Caribou Ranch. When they were looking for sort of a softer, mellower sound, they used this Steiner. Um, some of the other pianos were actually in the guest cabins. So they were used sort of as writing and rehearsing pianos. So when they were in their, not recording in the studio and they were in their guest cabin, they might be sitting at this piano here. Elton John um, wrote almost all of Rock of the Westies on this piano right here. Like the speakers, these playback speakers, um, from what I understand from John Carcello, who was the um, studio manager and ranch manager for many years, 20 years, said these uh, Tenoy speakers they picked up because of the, the British um, artists who came to record. They liked that sound from the Tenoy speakers. All artwork to the Chicago 3 album. Uh -huh. It's what the, what the album cover was based on this. And it was probably manipulated, as you can tell, but it was based on this artwork. So this was the bed that was in the presidential, they called it the presidential suite at Caribou Ranch. It was in the Ure cabin. And um, they called it the presidential suite because this bed was made for Grover Cleveland. So this, this bed and the dresser were in the presidential suite. So all the primary artists and musicians who stayed at the ranch stayed in the presidential suite. Ure was probably the pre premier cabin for visitors. The lodge was bigger and had a lot more guest rooms and lots of taxidermy and if you wanted to stay and be close to your bandmates and your crew you might stay in the lodge. Like Billy Joel chose to stay in the lodge at one point when he was visiting because he was closer to his bandmates and his, and his um, crew. These sort of signature Chesterfield sofas were all over the ranch including in the studio. And here, this would be a lot of the things that we would have seen that were in the lodge. So the lodge had um, 
oh, I think about six or eight guest rooms and, um, and then a big great room downstairs and that's where the foosball table was and there was a lot of hanging out in the lodge, I think. The array of items to be auctioned is massive. The catalog alone is 184 pages. An endless array of classic musical equipment, including this grand piano used by Elton John and Billy Joel. If you want to keep living the Caribou Ranch dream, here's your chance to buy a piece of it. A portion of the proceeds from the sale will go to the Colorado Music Hall of Fame. You still have a chance to check out items in person through Saturday at 3 p.m. <laughs>